today we have my most favorite, favorite vehicle. As a matter of fact, since childhood, wala akong pinangarap kundi magkaroon ito sa sakyan na to. And as you guys can see in my collection, I only collect two things na uh, scale model. I only collect G-Wagons and I only collect Porsche 964s. So today we have my dream vehicle, the G-Wagon. Let's go back in history why the G was created. Mercedes-Benz in all its might and wisdom. Back in the day, until the 70s, never created an SUV. They were always a passenger vehicle manufacturer, Daimler-Benz at that time. No? Um, it was a combination of uh, Gottlieb Daimler and Mr. Benz, Carl Benz. They never really made SUVs. As a matter of fact, they never really made trucks because they focused more on passenger vehicles and sports cars with their acquisition of AMG at some point in time. And we'll do another history of AMG because isa pang napaka-rich ng history of AMG Mercedes marriage. Napaka-interesting talaga. But we'll focus on my favorite car, you know, the G-Wagon. The G-Wagon is actually not made in Germany. It's made in Graz, Austria. And one of our favorite people in the world, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is also born, was also born in Austria. As a matter of fact, also in Graz. And his house is not too far away from the factory where this iconic vehicle is built. So, why the decide a Mercedes to go in G-Wagon? The reason why Mercedes decided to build the iconic G63 was based on the suggestion of Mohammed Reza Pahlavi, who was the Shah of Iran back in the 70s. So, actually, hindi nila pinaplano. Actually, 60s ata yun. There was no clear uh, timeline. But the G Wagon was actually originally built for Iran. It was a military spec vehicle. So, si Shah of Iran ang nag-suggest niyan para sa Iran. But Mercedes saw, like I said, in their infinite wisdom, they saw the viability of the vehicle for private and commercial purposes. So in 1979, the first civilian G-Wagon was built. But, see you guys, 1979 yun, eh? The first collaboration between Daimler-Benz and Steyr daimler Cook, which is the Austrian company that builds these cars, was back in 72. So they started really researching developing this vehicle in 1972. In 1973, the first wooden model was presented to Mercedes, to, to Daimler-Benz management. And in 1974, the first drivable prototype was built. And this is basically designed to be a cross-country vehicle. And they did testing in the Sahara Desert, Arctic Circle, uh, the German mountains, the Blackwoods or Black Mountains of Germany. So it was really tested na pang baragad because it was born out of their production from the military side. You know? I would say ganun siya ka iconic at that time. So naging maporma na siya. I think it's more for marketing purposes. But one thing still holds true that the car, as iconic as it is, has a huge following. So today we have this 2023 G63. 